So I'm here with Hope, the loggerhead sea turtle, that came up on the beach last night to lay her eggs. And but as you, you can see, the way, scientists have, you know, we've collected her, her put a, um, a tracking device on her, and we're about to release her back into the ocean, mm -hmm. where her movements will be tracked so we can understand more about these turtles and how, you know, they, their There's habitat's notes. being affected and potentially how the oil spill um, could eventually impact turtles in the Gulf of Mexico as well. <laughs> right now, they're making a little bit of a sand ramp so the turtle can get out of the box very easily. <laughs> They're tapping out the pins in the box, so the door will be open shortly. Four, three, two, one. And here goes Hope. She had a long night on the beach last night, so she's very tired. She goes, hey, look. Watch the turtle. Alright, let's have this line back up a little bit. We need to give her a clear shot of the ocean, or she won't come. She goes. It's amazing how fast such a large animal can move, particularly one that's so adapted for being in the water. When they're out of the water on the land, they suddenly feel their several hundred pounds of weight. And their feet and body structure really aren't adapted for walking as so much as swimming. So the fact that they come out on land is pretty amazing. There's a great example of a loggerhead sea turtle trail on the beach. What is it like for you to get to allow your kids to see something like this? It's indescribable. There are no words. I mean, that's nature's finest right in front of your eyes. Yeah.